Well, hello everyone, and uh, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Today's webinar is going to be focused on Arctic Kingdom's private journeys. These are our custom itineraries, which is basically designed for the traveler who wants something above and beyond our safari experiences. So uh, throughout this webinar, you, you will be on mute, uh, but you certainly are able to ask questions. Uh, you're able to type these questions into the little um, window panel that says um, questions. And um, if I do have time at the end of this 20, 30 minute webinar, I will endeavor to answer those questions for you. In the event that I can't get to those questions, I will certainly uh, reach out to you uh, post webinar so that um, you do get the answers you're looking for. So with that, we're going to jump right in. You might have a few stragglers still joining us, but I think we'll get started anyway. So just a little quick note about who I am. Um, I've been with Arctic Kingdom for over five years. My name is Jason Hillier. I'm a sales director and our expedition leader. Um, I've been designing and leading trips for Arctic Kingdom uh, for the better part of five years, and I've been doing it primarily uh, in the Eastern Arctic, but a little bit in the Western Arctic as well, uh, and also over into Greenland. Um, today, uh, through the majority of this presentation, we're going to be talking about Arctic Kingdom's spoke itineraries in regards to our capabilities. Uh, our trips, we affectionately call them our private journeys. You'll hear me talk about that a lot through this presentation, and we'll sample some of the different itineraries. We'll also talk about uh, a little bit about Arctic Kingdom, who we are, what our background is, um, and some of the experiences that you and or your clients might be able to uh, and partake with Arctic Kingdom. So just a little bit about who Arctic Kingdom is. We've been in business since 1999, and we absolutely specialize in creating custom trips, and we do so virtually year-round in the Arctic. Um, I, we'd like to say that um, you know, we just we don't only just play in the Arctic. We are actually headquartered in the Arctic. Um, we believe that we are the global leader in land-based travel in the Arctic. Um, there is no other company on Earth uh, that has the diversity of experiences uh, and the breadth of inventory of experiences than Arctic Kingdom. Um, and the fact that uh, we, we run trips essentially from March right up until the end of November gives us a lot of opportunity, a lot of possibility. Um, to explore this amazing destination. But why should one consider Arctic Kingdom when considering a private trip? Well, without a doubt, we have unmatched access to remote locations. As I mentioned just a moment ago, we travel to uh, many different destinations within the Arctic. Uh, we don't travel to just one or two two locations like many other operators do. Um, so that gives us um, unmatched access to remote locations. Um, and a lot of that expertise comes from partnering with companies such as National Geographic, Red Bull, uh, the BBC, Disney, Warner Brothers, et cetera. And, you know, we, I, I bring that up because at the end of the day, I want to impress upon you that we can bring your clients to the, these same exclusive locations um, that we bring these world-class organizations or corporations, I guess I should say, um, to give them the access to create their, their works of art. And uh, your clients now have the ability to go to those same locations and get those same uh, amazing shots. Um, within our, our, our staff, uh, we have naturalists, we have dive professionals, Inuit guides, uh, we have biologists, uh, glaciologists, um, uh, resident chefs. There's um, sort of a litany of, of different um, I guess professions and uh, and folks that will complement an, an experience for you and your clients in the north. And our our goal is to make sure we're bringing the best of the best up with us. So why should one consider the Arctic for a bespoke itinerary? So over the next few slides, we're going to look at some of the top reasons why you might want to consider booking a private journey into the Arctic. I like to think uh, one of the most obvious reasons. Um, is for the iconic wildlife. So the, the the animal migrations that take place in the Arctic are rivaling the numbers in Africa. And obviously we have some very unique species found nowhere else on Earth uh, in the Arctic. And the Canadian Arctic shines as an example of that. Um, 
As an example, I guess we have up to 60% or more of the world's polar bear populations. We have 13 out of the 19 world's um, known subpopulations of, uh, of polar bears. We have, I think, up to or, or even more than 75% of the world's estimated 80,000 narwhal. We have hundreds of thousands of seabirds, walrus, bowhead whales, beluga, um, that uh, and certainly seals. And so there's there's a lot of different uh, there's there's an amazing diversity, I guess, and a lot of different um, places that we can go to see these animals. And a lot of what we do is bringing clients to locations where one can have that intimate encounter with any of these iconic species. Another reason why you might want to consider traveling to the Arctic, we have northern lights that are going to dance across the sky in the fall, the winter, and the spring. In the summer months, anywhere from May until August, depending on the latitude that one is in, we have up to 24 hours of daylight, and that's absolutely something to behold. The midnight sun um, giving beautiful soft colors at, you know, all, all throughout the day, but certainly after midnight, a 2 a.m. sun uh, is like something you can't even imagine. Uh, the, the beautiful pastels of oranges and pinks and, and yellows uh, are just uh, something to behold. Uh, we'd like to think that the ability to experience these phenomena on a private trip with Arctic Kingdom leaders, and of course with Inuit guides, is second to none. And it's through our interpretation and through the, certainly the Inuit guides' interpretation and their stories of being on the land um, that you and your clients will experience a new connection to this beautiful and amazing phenomenon. I think it goes without saying that the Arctic has some amazing, amazing geography and landscapes. There's a lot of diversity as well. So we have everything ranging from immense fjords to ice caps to ancient mountains and, of course, the Arctic tundra. And Arctic Kingdom can bring you or your clients to any and nor all of them, of course. Um, you know, when, when, these, when these landscapes are, are um, combined with, with icebergs that are pretty much almost everywhere we go, um, it absolutely transforms the environment into a magical place um, and I, I think without a doubt impresses upon the traveler the significance and, and the power or the raw power of nature in this remote environment it's it's very humbling to be up there uh, um, and to experience the remoteness and the beauty of the Arctic without a doubt there are some lifetime opportunities uh, once in a lifetime opportunities and experiences that can be had in the Arctic um, the chance to walk with a polar bear, the chance to paddle up to an iceberg, to snorkel with a narwhal, or view northern lights from a comfortable private cabin. I mean, these are not experiences uh, that the general masses will ultimately enjoy. It's, it's really only for a select few. Um, getting that once in a lifetime opportunity to do, to do any of these um, are no doubt are going to create memories for a lifetime. And uh, we truly believe this is transformative travel. This is experiential travel. Um, at its finest. Another couple of reasons, I guess, or one reason certainly why uh, we would think we folks would be interested in traveling to the Arctic. Every trip we run, we partner with Inuit guides, and it's Inuit guides, the local Inuit guides, who safely bring us out on the land and out on the ice. Um, this is ultimately, you know, this is their backyard, and we're so privileged to be working with them side by side. Uh, and in turn, showing you more of their culture and what truly enables them to, to flourish in this harsh uh, but a beautiful environment. Um, Inuit have been uh, on the land here for thousands of years, um, and to sit down and have a conversation one-on-one -on -one with them, um, you know, with, without any distractions, without any iPhones or or pagers buzzing, or I guess nobody has pagers buzzing anymore, but with, without iPhones chiming or um, or text messages coming in. Um, it's just, it's really getting back to the basics. And that's why I think one of the special elements of, of having our Arctic guides as partners on these trips. Um, they're, they're absolutely critical to our success. You know, we just can't do what we do without them. Um, I like to say, although it's maybe a little cliche, that the fabrics of their culture are truly woven within their trips. We, you know, so whether we're traversing a crack in the ice with our comatics or big sleds, or maybe we're stalking a seal or a polar bear with our cameras, um, they are going to be the ones leading the way um, because they know this area the best. I think one of the last 
thoughts I'll leave you with here is um, many people think that the Arctic is uh, an inhospitable frozen place where it's nothing but frozen whiskers and icicles, but it can't, it's, you know, it's not, it's, sorry, <laughs> it's absolutely nothing like that. It's anything but that. Um, this is a place that's absolutely family friendly. Um, I, I think, um, you know, I was talking to a travel advisor and she said something that truly struck uh, or stuck, I should say, um, and it, it resonated with me. I and mean, we laughed it off, but um, I'll share with you now that you know, she said, you guys should be using that, the hashtag forced family bonding. So, I, you know, I totally laughed. I thought it was pretty hilarious. But, you know, as I thought more about it, I realized, you know, we are truly remote. We are off the grid. Uh, there are no iPhones other than for the purpose of taking a picture. Um, there's no TV screens. There's no text messaging. Uh, we have to talk to one another. It's just, it's just like the good old days. And I think this makes for that amazing encounter, um, that amazing experience that a family can just absolutely reconnect um, and, and and talk to one another. So no one's staring at a little screen for eight or nine hours a day. We're, uh, we're engaging and we're uh, one with the environment when we're here. So we've discussed a little bit about Arctic Kingdom and, and why the Arctic, we believe, is an amazing destination for one to, to take a private and bespoke itinerary uh, or to create, have one created for them, I should say, I guess. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what that means. What is an Arctic Kingdom private journey? Um, our private journeys are carefully created uh, custom trips. And these trips aim to bring our guests into uh, some of the most remote locations on Earth. We like to think that we we make the seemingly inaccessible accessible, and these trips are truly the ultimate Arctic experience. So, who chooses private journeys? Well, it's you know, it's all, all kinds of people. So, whether it's that um, that semi-professional photographer, um, or it's that uh, newly retired um, uh, CEO that um, has a has a knack for for getting out into some interesting places. Um, whether it's the adventure seeker, whether they're a nat nature or wildlife enthusiast, or just a polar enthusiast, um, we, we have, I think we definitely have something for the offering. Uh, we, you know, we like to say around the office that there's, there's basically two kinds of people in this world, and it's those who haven't been to the Arctic and ultimately those who are going back. Um, there's such a thing called the Arctic bug, and once you get it, um, it, it just sticks with you. And um, uh, many of our clients, certainly our VIP clients, ones who are taking us up on uh, uh, the opportunity to bring them out on custom trips, um, they are repeat customers. They're coming back and they want to see more at different times of the year or different locations. So who also chooses private journeys? Well, like-minded friends. So creating a group booking um, for a group of um, bird lovers, let's say, um, or a, even a multi-generational family. So, you know, grandparents treating their children, their grandchildren is absolutely becoming more and more uh, common for us. Um, we've had clients as young as 12 or even a little younger, um, and uh, we've had uh, clients as old as 85. And um, we have a, an 85-year-old client, I think she's 85 or maybe even 86 now, um, and she's been on five of our trips, and she does them all in a bespoke custom fashion. Um, and so, you know, I, I, I guess I can't impress upon you too much that these trips may seem extreme, but they're, the only thing extreme about them is, is actually the location, the remoteness. These are not active adventures. These are truly soft adventures. Um, if you can walk the length of a football field or a soccer pitch, then you can absolutely do any one of our trips. At the end of the day, you know, we're going to tailor the right trip to the activity level. Um, that's matching the family or the, or the group that, uh, or the individual that we're bringing north, um, and ultimately the experience goals that that family are going to um, craft the day-to-day -day itinerary. These trips are absolutely fully customized. Um, we bring to the table local expertise of when and where to go, along with all the necessary planning support. So that includes flights, um, so whether that's commercial or charter. Um, it's the communication strategy, so the satellite phones, the satellite communicators, the emergency equipment, um, the right accommodations, so the safari camp, the pre and post nights in the respective communities and such like that. Um, this is, you know, this is your trip, your way, absolutely. Um, 
we work within our, our client's schedule and present options to tailor the experience to their goals. So without a doubt, there's certainly better times to be in the Arctic than others. Um, it's all going to depend on ultimately what the goal of the trip is, whether it's to see northern lights, whether it's to see polar bears, or whether it's to see a glacier. Um, we're going to figure out what is, um, you know, what, what's the incentive to getting north, and then we'll create something around the goals. This private trips are absolutely, I think, an, or sorry, they contain, I guess, an element of exclusivity. Um, these private journeys, I think, really truly encapsulate that. It's meant to be a private experience. Um, it's with a private chef. It's with private guides, private accommodations, um, and the experience is, is truly designed to showcase the best of a region, uh, its wildlife, and its landscapes. The goal is to create those lasting memories, and it's going to be specific for that group. Typically, our private journeys will utilize um, a couple different accommodation styles, um, but more often than not, our discussions will come in and around our or the center in and around our premium safari camp. And these are with our comfortable sleep yurts. So whether they're situated on the Arctic ice, as you see in this picture, and most likely in June, because we see a little melt water there, um, or if it's our newly built polar bear cabin, which is north of Churchill, um, as an ultimate private polar bear destination, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about both of those in a moment. Um, we, we definitely have different accommodation styles. So it's always going to depend on the trip and ultimately uh, the client's disease, uh, or their, sorry, the guest desires and needs. Our menus are absolutely going to be tailored for a, a private uh, itinerary. Our chefs are professional executive chefs, typically from the south. Um, and wherever possible, they are incorporating local sustainable delicacies, um, such as Arctic char, as you see in this picture here. Um, you know, protein such as Arctic char is a staple in northern diets, and anyone who loves fish um, can, and has had Arctic char will know that it's something that you can virtually almost eat every day. And I certainly love to uh, eat it almost every day, although maybe some clients get tired of that after the second day. <laughs> In any event, um, I guess the, what I'm trying to impress upon you here is that we, you know, we we know what food to bring from the south. We know what we can get from the north. What's sustainable, uh, and uh, we can create um, custom tailored menus, um, and uh, and certainly surprise and delight with anyone's palate. So lots of different activities that one can have on a private journey, um, and we'll call these add-ons, but it can be absolutely part of the uh, the core of the trip as well. So whether it's you know, hot air ballooning over icebergs, um, we can do aerial tours with helicopters or fixed wing aircraft, all of that can be arranged um, in, in the July and August, even September months, we can do privately guided boat tours. We are, we are, um, we are able to do kayaking and snorkeling and even scuba diving on some of our trips. So you know, we, we actually, um, we cut our teeth about 20 years ago leading scuba trips into the north. So it's part of our blood. Uh, um, it's in our blood, I guess I should say, and um, I think mean, part of our, one of our core competencies and what we're able to deliver that's at a very different level than any other operator in the north. Um, cultural experiences, um, um, being being part or participating in um, a throat singing demonstration or a, a drumming session or maybe even some Inuit games, these types of things will immerse you into the Arctic uh, and give you a better sense and appreciation. Appreciate of the land and of the people. Now we do have Wi-Fi packages available um, and some people go for them, some people don't, some people want to be disconnected, but for that uh, really important business call that uh, you have to make, well then we have Wi-Fi and satellite packages available as well. Many of our uh, private journeys are obviously in very remote destinations. Uh, but these handcrafted destinate these handcrafted itineraries can can bring us to multiple different locations on one trip even so um, although the distances between locations can be expensive um, without a doubt there's the, the ability to um, to traverse the Arctic for lack of a better word and really see more more than more than just one spot at any given time um, I'll talk about just a little bit more about that in a second, actually, and then maybe it'll help if I if I show the next slide here, which is a map. And this map, hopefully, some of you recognize and maybe it looks familiar. It's it's taken from our our catalog, 
Um, you can actually find a real good version of this or an interactive um, e-version of this um, on our website under the Our Destinations link. And that interactive map uh, will showcase some of the different scheduled safaris um, that, we, uh, that we run. So this map here, it, um, it shows you the, the different Arctic communities, communities as well as southern communities from which we have launched recent private journeys. Um, and I like to think, you know, in the words of Graham Dixon here, as you can see in the corner, you can see it on the map. We can take you there. And without a doubt, um, this is by no means the, uh, the complete inventory of locations that we have been or where one could possibly go. It's meant to be a sampling of where we go. Um, and uh, I guess one of the last points I'll let you uh, or make you aware of here is that Winnipeg uh, and Ottawa, the two southern cities that you see here in the provinces of Ontario and in Manitoba, are, are common gateway cities. Uh, but there are others such as Yellowknife um, and even Vancouver, I guess, and others uh, in Montreal. But these are the main two cities from which we launch many of our scheduled trips. Um, and as it so happens, many of our bespoke itineraries will originate from these two locations as well. Um, at the end of the day, Arctic Kingdom is going to be essentially be able to provide all the travel arrangements uh, from both of these cities or even other gateway cities in the south onwards. So that's the commercial flights, that's the charter flights, um, it's the transfers, the meals, and, and uh, all of the, the all of the guiding. Um, once once um, once our folks, once your clients, or you, you get into uh, into the cities of Winnipeg or Ottawa, as an example, we effectively can take over at that point. So let's, uh, let's take a few moments to, to look at a few recent private journeys. And these are meant to be just, I guess, some samples of what we've done uh, in the, the recent past. Um, and let's find and we could see where some of these uh, trips have taken us. So Arctic Kingdom's private polar bear cabin. This is a brand new cabin. It's really only a couple years old. And I believe at this point in time, we've only had um, three or four different clients stay there. Um, it is a remote cabin on the Arctic tundra. Um, it is north of Churchill, Manitoba, and south of the community of Arviat and Nunavut. Um, it's app specifically designed to get you on the ground with the bears, and the goal is to have you ultimately walking with the bears. This is this is sort of the cornerstone to getting you out on a walking safari and having the most intimate private encounter with the polar bear one could have. We have great options for snowmobiling and helicopter tours on this trip as well, and um, it, it is a nicely appointed cabin. Um, it is um, simple, um, but has all the creature comforts of home with hot and cold running water uh, showers um, and sinks, a private chef, and uh, the bears will literally be right outside our window. And that's really what makes this special. Um, this is the kind of view that uh, one can actually have right from the window in the living room. The trip also gets you um, an amazing uh, Vantage point for Northern Lights. So epic Northern Lights on the tundra at night uh, in October, November are, are always going to bedazzle and just make for amazing photography opportunities. So I did mention a moment ago that we have the ability to run uh, snowmobile trips from here. Um, we also have the ability to bring in a, a helicopter from Churchill, Manitoba to effectively scout the, uh, the tundra with a helicopter. Um, we've seen resident herds of thousands of caribou here. Um, we've seen in Arctic wolves, wolverine, um, and of course polar bears on our helicopter tours. So it's a pretty special add-on that, that can be had. The cabin is, is generally accessed uh, by charter plane from Churchill, Manitoba. We make all those arrangements. Um, or it can be accessed commercially um, or with a short tundra transfer um, by snowmobile or UTV from the nearby community of Arviat. And that's generally about an hour transfer. Uh, two hours at the most, depending on conditions, but it's we're fairly close by, so it's a, it's another um, easy way to get there. So the next the next private journey that we have to talk about here um, is our private polar bears and glaciers, and that um, that itinerary is, is a two-part itinerary, and that it boasts polar bears, immense glaciers, a premium safari camp on an Arctic beach. Uh, and then we cap that trip off by a visit to stunning the Lewis at Greenland uh, for aerial and boat tours to some of the world's most productive glaciers. So it's, uh, you know, it's four-star Greenland accommodations. It's a premium safari camp. Um, we have the ability to kayak, to see bowheads, to see swimming polar bears, to see polar bears on land, and of course, just epic, epic ice. 
So icebergs, so whether they're Greenlandic icebergs uh, in Kikatarjuak in the Eastern Arctic, or they're actually going to Lewisat, uh, again, allowing for just amazing photography opportunities. Uh, and we have the ability to get quite close to some of them. Um, so whether it's a, you know, boating up to a glacier in Iowetuk National Park uh, and visiting this through the eyes of an Inuit elder, we can gain a new appreciation of the land uh, and just the raw, the raw beauty that we're immersed in. I mentioned polar bears, uh, and we titled this polar bears glaciers. Um, we have a great opportunity to see polar bears both on land and swimming uh, in the Canadian Arctic, not so much in um, but we had uh, some great encounters on this trip, and um, we have every reason to believe that um, they, these, these, these opportunities of seeing bears on land with the backdrop of glaciers and mountains is just unprecedented and, and, and very special in its own right. The, uh, the ice in Greenland um, it lends itself to just stunning, beautiful images. So an early morning shot of Jakobshavn Glacier um, in and around Disco Bay or, or traveling up to another active Epi Glacier. There's there's all sorts of Epi Glacier, I should say, excuse, excuse me, um, just provides for, for great photography opportunities. So last but not least, a third example of a private journey um, and, and definitely one of our, our, I think, our most popular um, bespoke itinerary that we, we end up ultimately crafting fairly regularly, uh, basically on an annual basis, is our May and June flow out safaris. And these for me, at least, are the quintessential Arctic trip. It's you know, it's on one of these trips that I first fell in love with the Arctic, and it, it's basically the reason I go back every single year. Um, it's it's encountering the migration of narwhal, beluga, polar bears. It's it's the midnight sun, um, and for the photographer, um, it's it's the ultimate Arctic photo safari. The, the landscapes here are immense. Uh, they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, kind of hard to put in perspective or even capture in an image until you're actually there. Um, but hopefully some of these shots will just give you an appreciation for that. Now we, you know, on a private trip, we did mention uh, one of our add-ons is, uh, is hot air ballooning. Well, we own our own hot air balloon. So we literally have the ability to, to get away from it all in our own hot air balloon. And we can float over the high Arctic ice, be the only ones ever to balloon in that area, maybe the only ones to ever balloon there, ever. Um, and, uh, and again, allows for some amazing, amazing um, pictures. One of the reasons we're there, as I mentioned, that we're, we're along one of the migration tracks, or the main migration track, I should say, of iconic wildlife, such as narwhal. Uh, we have the ability to, to don a dry suit and go for a swim with the narwhal. So it's, it's, it's pretty spectacular uh, in the sense that we have unprecedented access to some of these amazing, amazing animals. And we're going to have views that will take your breath away. So whether it's a grounded iceberg, a helicopter tour to a top of a mountain, or a swim under a, uh, an ice, a crack in the ice, there's just always something that can be um, new and interesting that can be done on a daily basis. So in, in summary, um, I guess I, I, you know, I just want to remind you that uh, these completely custom trips for our clients uh, our, our, for our clients are, are ones that we believe are, you know, we're truly confident that we believe that these are exclusive, exclusive experiences that just cannot be found anywhere else on earth. Uh, we work with our northern partners for private transportation, and we can bring expert biologists, glaciologists, ice scientists, and, you know, and even local storytellers into the trip dynamics to, to round out the experience. Um, if, you, if you can dream it, we can absolutely do it. Um, you know, we had a client a few years ago that mentioned to us, I want the James Bond of all Arctic trips. And that was all that we had to go on. So we, we crafted an amazing itinerary. Um, they ate it up and they've been back, you know, twice since with us. So um, we don't, sometimes we don't need a lot to go with. <laughs> we can come up with something pretty cool and, uh, and pretty special that way. So how to book a, a private itinerary with Arctic Kingdom. I mean, it really is that, it really is quite simple and straightforward. Um, by speaking to your travel advisor, who will in turn then contact the Arctic Kingdom office and we'll speak um, with them and, and you as the client and the guest, potential guests, will talk about the potentiality of, uh, of the different locations and the time of year and what ultimately the goals are um, that, uh, that we want to have in the Arctic. Or, or simply you can contact us directly at uh, adventures at arctickingdom.com or with the phone number that you see here and 
Tom will be in touch with you. We'll schedule a time to chat uh, and then come up with um, some great uh, proposals and suggestions and uh, make sure that we're, we're working together um, all on the same page and, and creating that, that, that amazing Arctic destination. So thank you so much for your time. I'm pretty much right on the minute here of 30 minutes, and that was my goal. I um, almost surprised myself. I think I was able to do that. Um, I see that there may very, very well be a few questions, so I'm just going to take a moment uh, to go through those and see if there's uh, anything there that I can try to answer. Um, and if that's the case, then I will do so. And uh, you bear with me one moment as I try to get in here to, <laughs> to see what these questions are. All right, so I've, asked, I've been asked, how do we get a copy of this PowerPoint? Well, this webinar is going to be recorded, um, and it can be, and it will be saved as a PDF and made available to you as well. So um, we will get that uh, information out to you as an attendee of this webinar. Um, I've gotten a question about what is an average price for a week for a family of four, and if children are under 12 are traveling with any reduction? So the average price, it's a really difficult question to answer, because obviously every trip is unique based on the location, based on the activities. Uh, if there is an average price um, for a week, I would say in and around eighty to ninety thousand dollars. That would be my guess, um, but that's going to be an average price. And there's so many things that can affect that. Um, we, you, please don't hold me to that number. Um, I definitely want to have a dialogue with you to set expectations accordingly. Um, if the children are under 12, are there any uh, reductions? Absolutely. It all depends on the trip. Um, when we do things on a custom bespoke basis everything is a discussion point and everything is uh, um, is up for um, up for evaluation in regards to pricing and such like that um, 12 is generally the minimum age that we'd like to take on our trips um, and that's the next question but when it's a private uh, bespoke itinerary we can absolutely make exceptions we just want to make sure that we're having the right uh, the right or sorry, that we're answering the right questions or setting the right expectations, I guess I'm trying to say, with the family in regards to temperature, in regards to um, the environment, in regards to whether or not guides will be armed with guns um, uh, for safety reasons. So we just want to talk all of those kinds of dynamics. Uh, how many people have rooms in the cabins? Well, our yurts are generally double occupancy yurts. Um, and the cabin, the private sleep cabin, if this is what we're referring to, um, is a sleep cabin for four. And that is the two twin bed uh, uh, configuration with a queen bed as well. So it's perfect for the small family. And I think just a couple more questions. Oh, I got some thank you, Jason's. I guess there's not really questions. <laughs> so um, another question here. We have some people who are asking if, um, if they close that they have a scheme for suitable for the fly and polar bear safari. That's not necessarily the case. Uh, um, you may be able to get away with it, but we highly recommend uh, the proper Arctic clothing we're able to to provide with you to you uh, a complete and exhaustive packing list um, and we encourage all of our clients that travel on almost all of our trips and certainly in October November to have equipment and gear and clothing that's going to be comparable to what we rent in our Arctic clothing package uh, by doing so one will ensure that everyone's safe and warm uh, because frankly a ski jacket and ski pants just will not be warm enough for standing around um, in, in potentially um, you know sub-zero temperatures so that's the last of the questions. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate your attention. And um, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to, add, uh, to, to email or to call. Um, we're happy to, to answer them. That's what we're here for. And uh, we absolutely look forward to hearing from more from you um, and discussing and exploring opportunities to bring your clients up north on an amazing private journey. So long and take care.